Hey guys, so I want to tell you why I believe Fidelity is one of the best brokers to use right now, especially if you're a swing trader or if you are selling premium or selling puts or calls. Uh, if you are in the theta gang piece of things where you are burning options premium, then I believe you know Fidelity's advantage, which I'm going to explain right now, uh, and how I'm utilizing it is one of the best. So you guys are aware that there is a high level of interest rates at the moment. And if you have cash in CDs, treasury bills, or high yield savings accounts, or money market accounts, you get a pretty nice return. So, you know, it ranges between as low as 4% as, you know, some brokers are offering up to five and CDs and treasury bills are up to 5.6%, which is historically some of the best rates we've ever had. Uh, so what Fidelity does is if you go and deposit money in here, you know, my balance in this account here, the account total is you know, 270000 If I go and deposit 270, the great thing is, you know, if you go deposit this in Schwab or Tasty Trade or wherever E-Trade, uh, they don't do anything with the money. You have to go and buy into an ETF or a mutual fund or something for you to start earning either dividends or interest payments or whatever it might be. If you, you know, take, um, you know, BIL, which is, a treasury bill ETF, um, or like even like if you get TILT, TLT, you know, right? Those are those are ETFs that you can use to get interest on your money in the form of dividends. Um, well, they you don't get that right away unless you take action. The nice thing about Fidelity is if you have any cash, all of your cash goes, and you just have to opt into it. I believe it goes into what's called the core position, and the core position is all government bonds or government treasury bills and you know safe assets that you'll be earning interest in here and you guys can see back in october you're getting 1.8 right now it's at 4.97 percent so that's my yield um right now the average yield in seven days but so if i had a hundred thousand i get five thousand dollars if i had two hundred thousand you know i'd get ten thousand dollars for the year for not doing anything completely passive. This is really passive income. People talk about passive income and how to make passive income. You know, this is by far the most passive income you can get right now if you have cash available. But the second piece of this, and this is one of the best parts of this, is that you can keep this money in the core account and this in this money market account continuing to yield 5% while you continue selling puts. So I've sold these Microsoft $310 put on it, and I'm going to get, you know, this is in December, I'm going to earn around $3,000, and as long as it doesn't go below $310 and I get assigned. So, you know, my total cost basis was $3,300. But anyhow, so if I take that $3,000 and, you know, $3,000 I'm earning, what I would have needed to do in, in an account like Robinhood is I would have had to take my money out of here this yield that I'm getting for 5% of 213000 and I need to use it as collateral on this uh, put for Microsoft. So I would need to put away about $60,000. I would have to take out of here where it would stop earning, and then it would be assigned, and it would put it here. But what Fidelity does is it does not use that core position's margin, or it doesn't take value out of that position. Or even use as margin. It, 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 I mean, there, there's collateral there, but it's not going to charge you margin interest, and it's not going to take it out of the core account. Only, and it doesn't do this only if you get assigned the shares. Then it will take it away, and it will use it towards buying the position, the Microsoft shares that I'll have to buy 200 of those because I've sold two puts. So now I'm going to, I'm essentially double dipping here. Is at the end of the day, so I'm getting the puts sold i'm going to earn three thousand dollars let's say in the perfect world it doesn't go below 310 um you know by december 15th then i'm going to earn the three thousand i've saved the sixty thousand not having to use that as collateral and that sixty thousand has start has continued to earn interest for me so at the end of the day let's just say i did this twice a year and i got six thousand dollars from selling these types of puts and i never got assigned and i had to use sixty thousand for the collateral technically, but I'm gonna earn interest on it. So 5% on 60,000, I've earned 
an extra 3,000, right? Because I didn't need to use the 60,000 as collateral and put it towards an assign it to these puts. It only gets assigned if it becomes, um, you know, if it becomes exercised against you. So instead of earning 6,000, because I'm using Fidelity and how they have the setup, I'm getting 9,000. I'm getting 50% more profit on selling these puts, which is remarkable. So you're going to get more than 5% at the end of the day. If you continue selling puts, you can juice this up to a substantial amount. If I had sold, let's say, instead of you know 6,000, because I have four times that money, almost 240,000, right? I would have had 12,000 in interest here, right? I would continue earning 12,000 here, but over here, I would earn six times four, 24,000, right? So I'm looking at, you know, over 35,000 at that point. So you, your, ter your technical return on your money, 36 divided by, let's just say 240,000, is going to be substantially more than you would have got just by leaving it in the money market or by using a trade you know platform like Robinhood or, or something else which takes away from poor positions like this and it assigns it automatically and puts it as collateral against these puts so I would you know if I continue doing this and I do not get assigned these shares in the perfect world my return on capital will be 15 percent which would be substantially higher than the S&P. More than likely, I'm going to get assigned, so I'm not going to get to continue selling these. You know, like there's going to be ups and downs, but if I can get eight to twelve percent, right, like doing you know doing this type of thing, because I know I'm guaranteed to get five percent as long as I don't get assigned. And if I'm selling this on really good companies, healthy companies, with you know far date, you know far out dates, you know maybe three months out with you know maybe a delta of like 0.2 which means like 20 percent likely to go and go in the money then at that point i would you know probably do well so you guys can see some of my positions right over here and i've had some gains had some losses but i'm holding all this i'm holding these puts here i've sold this put for um southwest you know i've sold calls against it too like i have shares of um as you know schd but i've sold calls against it here right so i'm i'm selling calls i'm essentially wheeling it so it's called a wheel strategy I'm, on this 310 if i get assigned i'll own the shares but then i'm gonna start to sell calls i'm gonna continue selling calls on it against it until i get reassigned uh, and get exercised against those shares which then they'll get taken away and then i'll start the put process again so it's a slow burning process it's not fun in a sense like it's not exciting it's boring but boring is actually pretty good in the market you want things to be boring and, and kind of cumbersome and you don't want some fancy ass dashboards and stuff like you just need something simple like this <clears throat> so yep that's that's all i had if you guys have questions let me know i know I, I went through it pretty quickly but in my opinion fidelity is a great way to double dip especially if you learn how to sell puts and even if you don't learn how to sell puts they have some really good options for ETFs and, and you know other things as well. So if you guys have any comments uh, or questions, leave below. Thanks a lot.